Man, going from like the super melancholy intro music to this super bright and cheerful theme, it's very jarring. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, last time we discovered a litany of items that I want to try to perhaps use. I also still want to keep avoiding combat, even though- oh god. Okay, you know what I might do, and might be something incredibly stupid? I might try to repeatedly beat, like, the things in Dino's Digs in order to level up, because those things gave three- I haven't been in this triangle sandwich time, like, three times more XP than Kite Kid himself. Just, like, from a random piece of celery. Uh, sorry, Kite Kid, but you don't appear to be quite strong. Anyhow, uh, we discovered, like, a secret code thing that I want to figure out. What's the use for? Also, we discovered a treasure map that I don't think I have... Important... Emotion... Self-heart... Have we seen the treasure map? Yeah, ancient code. What is this? Okay, I have to find... I think that might be like the code to the door we've seen around uh, in like the disco room and somewhere around here? I think it was around here. I can't remember. Oh no. Also, why... Oh, wait! There's a sparkle in the water. Wait a minute. The surface of the water is shimmering. Do you want to stare at it intently? Yes. What? Rain Town. Uh. Well, I, oh my god, okay. I was asking for melancholy and this seems to be it. You guys aren't enemies, are you? No. On the scale of comfortable to uncomfortable, where one is very uncom- oh wait, where one is very comfortable and ten is very uncomfortable, I'm at a six. Okay, you're experiencing mild discomfort. Uh, I don't know why you described it like that. Oh. I am slightly bothered by the amount of rain. I mean, I guess too much rain is not good for vegetables. I'm feeling a small amount of physical discomfort. Oh. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see some evil veggies in there, one with like glowing red eye. Oh, wait, no, there could just be onions. Or are onions evil in this? Black. Ewie. Oh, that, that's quite mean to say <laughs> to the person you just met. Some pots. Some empty, some not. Is this the thing about optimism? Uh, a plant nursery full of veggie kids. Oh, oh, you're growing people. That is... Weird to think about. <laughs> I mean, I guess we are grown, but in a sense. Ah. It is raining too hard. It is making us slightly uncomfortable. There is a mystical valve nearby which controls our rainfall, but only the chosen one is able to turn it. If no one helps us, we are doomed to be slightly uncomfortable forever. But it's good for you, right? It's rain. What happens if you dry up and die? Um... Okay, I, I can turn it off for you, but if <laughs> I feel like we should come to a vote on that and explain the ramifications of you as plants lacking rain. Uh, ah, it's raining too hard. Okay, okay, I, I understand. I suppose you're all very slightly discomfortable, but it's good for you. Also, umbrella. Can I use it? Umbrella? No. Hey, Mari. Here in Rain Town, it always seems to be raining a bit. It's not the most ideal weather conditions for a picnic, but that's never stopped me before. I love the rain. <laughs> I, like, absolutely love the rain. I live for it. <laughs> yeah, any time is a good time for a picnic. Heh, <laughs> that's right, Kill. Any time is a good time, especially with friends. I would love to have, like, a picnic outside under, like, perhaps a big umbrella or, like, a, uh... Um, what's that, like, thing? A... Garbanzo? Not a garbanzo bean. <laughs> uh, a verdana? No, that's a, like a patio. Uh, a covered area and then have like some lunch with friends. That sounds lovely. Hey, Mori Cliff Face, as usual, you should totally smile more. Do you want to help? I think all it costs is your love. I wonder, was that sparkle always there? Did I miss that the first time? I can't tell. Some pots. Some empty, some not. That's a singular pot. What do you mean? Uh, ah, yes, some hearty soup. Would you like to drink some? Yeah, sure. Man, I can go for some lentil soup with some lemon juice right now. You're <laughs> All these veggies are making me hungry. I'm not like a big vegetable guy anyway. How would you like to turn the valve? Slightly to the right or left? Uh, right. 
Righty tidy, lefty Lucy. Wait, would right tighten? Okay, you know what? We'll find out. Oh, the rain is slightly lighter now. Oh, that's good. How about you? How comfortable are you? Feels good. Oh, okay, fantastic. Okay, so it's still raining. You guys aren't gonna dry up. Uh, the rain has been adjusted. Neat. Thank you, chosen one. We'll remember you for your act of kindness forever. Oh. Oh, you grew. What's that, child? You want to go with them? Are you sure? <laughs> if that's your wish, chosen one. This child wishes to join you on your quest. She is yours now. Please take good care of her. You got a veggie kid. Go forth, heroes. Your journey awaits you. I just... I have a whole living entity in my pocket? I don't understand. Important? Is... Uh... No? Oh yeah, we still have the show tickets. Oh god, where was that? They said something about the spider forest, I think? Or is that something else? I can't remember. Uh, is it equipment? You're not a snack, are you? Oh no. <laughs> Please tell me you're not a snack. Okay. I don't think I could have eaten you in good consciousness. Uh, you're probably not a... Oh, you are. Oh wow, that's actually quite... Eh, that's not that good, actually. I don't know how much is... Increases hit rate. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that. Um, who here is weak and sad and pathetic? Kel. Oh, but you have cat. You know what? Oh god, I kind of want to equip Hector for you. Mmm. With more energy, I don't know what energy is. Oh, I f wait. No, energy is probably the like group attack thing, right? Oh no, I like to use that way too much. That's gonna be useless for me, I think. Okay, you can have Veggie Kid. Uh, maybe you won't die. Uh, also, maybe you might survive in the... Dino Dig, and if I can get more than two people to survive, that'd be great. Oh yeah, some hearty soup. Would you like to drink some? Is this just like a secret area that like you can encounter in the soup water? Because that was a giant orange. I didn't think it was like... Am I stuck? How do I leave? Is there like... Oh, it's a puddle. I wonder if I can access this area through other locations. Oh, did I see a shimmer when I was fishing? I was... Maybe it has to be... Oh, God. I want to look back through the footage, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see if the entrance is still here. If I, like, leave the screen. It might be, like, a rare thing that appears in water occasionally. Okay, it's there. Oh, it's just, it's just there. Okay. Huh. That, that's weird. It's like an entire town in a single spot of water. Or... Yeah, I guess it's a mental space, so we can't really, you know, limit ourselves by physical boundaries. If you stare at something, I guess that's a method of transportation here. Uh, did I look through this telescope? I don't think I have. It doesn't look to be looking at anything except the stars. No, I have. It's just the pyramid. Okay. Uh, to the left. Nope, just some more boxes. I need to find that door. Also, wait, where's that treasure map? Uh... Because I think we, in addition to this one, X marks the spot. Where... Wait, this is the... No. Oh, it's X. Oh, wait, we already... Wait, don't we have that? At the end of the... Oh. Okay, that was just like a little thing. I see, Athen. Wait, what happens if I get Hangman before I complete the... Oh my god, wait. Yeah, okay, so maybe I have like... I can perhaps mess up that overall puzzle? That feels a bit weird. Mmm, maybe... Okay, I'm curious what happens if I get like a Hangman. As if I like complete the person hanging before I collect all the pieces. I gotta figure out what these tentacles are. I feel like that's either a transportation system, but like, it's in our notebook in like, the white area. Uh, white space, right? Uh, also, how do I get up there? Is there a way to like, climb up waterfalls? <laughs> or... Sugar falls? Uh, we're on brown sugar, right? I don't know what's up there. Ad is just a realistic skull. And a T-Rex with crayons. They really enjoy drawing. <laughs> I guess that's candles. Uh... Huh, that feels ritualistic. I want to 
do participate in a deer ritual involving a giant birthday candle? Nope. <laughs> My cowardice shows no limit. Where is that door? I'm certain there was a door around here that was yellow. That might be the, like, secret code. Uh... Was it to the top? <laughs> ah, this is really disorienting. Running. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I haven't been here. Is this a graveyard? Why is there toast stuck in dirt? <laughs> I feel like that's a grave, but you know what? Whatever. I... I feel like that toast is gonna ambush. <gasps> Hi. Um, hey buddy. Do you need help? You are on fire. That cannot be comfortable. I'm trying to help you. Uh, you need to stop, drop, and roll. You are... Can we not help you? Do we have like a water balloon? Uh, Kel, wait. Uh, Kel, do you have a water balloon? <laughs> Can you throw it at him? You, no. Uh, no. How, I feel like I need to help this man. You scared the fuck out of me, though. No, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect some guy. Okay, you know what? I will leave you... Or is this supposed to be like the Valley of Death and it's super hot here and that's supposed to represent that? Are we just gonna leave him alone? That's a bit messed up. Oh, it is graves. Oh. Okay. They are headstones. Uh, why is one missing? Wait. One second. Is that... Wait, no, not this one. Pocket. Important. It was the ancient code. Oh! One, two, three, four. What? Oh, are you telling me to hit these in order? One, two, three, four. Uh... Oh! Okay! Never mind, I thought that would be like the entrance to the yellow door thing we saw. Huh, I feel like that's a really easy code to guess by accident, but I guess we also got the X thing by act. We can't swim. You are afraid of... What was that? I saw like a little shadow. Wait, or is that just... Uh, it's just my fears, like, materializing themselves into this world. Uh... I don't think it'll, like, entrench me, right? No? It's just gonna play creepy ambient music? That is terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Something about this is, like, unsettling. <laughs> I half expect, like, faces to appear at the left and right shadows. Okay, well, I guess we have to be unafraid of drowning, so... That's probably one of the big fears we have to conquer along with spiders, and I think there was another area we can go to. I gotta figure out how to save this guy, but you know what? You're just gonna be on fire for now until I get, like, a book of water. Um, if that's the case, I think that's everything in this area. I'm going to go grab that joke from space, and then... Hello? I don't think I have the code for you. What's the password? I do not know. No password, no entry. Yeah, I thought that's what that was. Did I really not go to that area to the right? I must not remember it, or maybe I have. And anyway, I'm gonna go grab the joke from space and then go to the back to the spooky forest and then try to get beat up by a bear, I guess, because the bear seemed weaker than the things in Dino's Dig, and we managed to beat one of them. Okay, joke found. Why did the scarecrow win an award? because he was outstanding in his field. Excellent. You record- where did the- why is there an egg pun? <laughs> you recorded the joke in your joke book. Uh, I guess it's because of the duck. Anyhow, back to the forest. Oh, actually, before we go, I did realize this thing is a reference to like a- what was it, Poe? Yeah. Uh, this is like a reference to a Japanese urban legend. I was watching a video on them, and apparently there's like a big tall lady where, who wears a sundress and says pa 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 and then abducts children. So, I don't know, that's that. I guess that's neat. <laughs> Am I more profi- I don't remember being this proficient at cutting them. In fact, I recall being remarkably slower. Huh. 
I wonder if your level gets up, you become faster at cutting. That's weird. Anyhow, you don't think I forgot about you, did you? Uh, bunk? Okay, construction guy from the desert, what is your most treasured possession here? You got jam packets. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Ah, well, uh, here we go. Also, sparkle in the water. Uh, hello, Lady of the Lake. The surface of the water is shimmering. Do you want to throw ten clams into the lake? Yes. Wow, I am broke. <laughs> I should sell some of my food. Oh, Weeping Willow. Huh. <sighs> hey, it's me, Weeping Willow. The goddess of the lake. Thanks for the clams, I guess. Uh, they say that money can buy happiness, but apparently it's not working. Can you do something funny for me? Maybe tell a joke? Uh, sure. Huh, <sighs> okay, what is it? Do you want to read Whooping, Weeping Willow, a joke from the joke book? Yeah, sure. You open the joke book. The contents, the contents of this book are too embarrassing to read out loud. Maybe someone older would be able to do it. Really? You called me out here for nothing? Huh, <sighs> what a waste of time. Look, sometimes you just have to say what's on your mind, even if it's completely embarrassing. How do you think I feel about this entire YouTube channel? The surface of the water in shimmering, yes, yes, yes. Uh, why was the wa why was its extra thick splash? Also, I like the Venus pictures that are pouring water. Yes, 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 thanks they're clams, you can buy happiness. Can you do something funny for me? Yes. Okay, what is it? Do you want to read Whipping Willow? Yes. What joke would you like to read? Um, how about the Scarecrow joke? Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh Are you crying? It wasn't that bad. That joke. That joke was so bad. It just makes me want to... Wah! <laughs> Wah! Oh, no. <laughs> Can I make her cry again? Is there any point to this? The surface of the water is shimmering. Do you want to throw- Maybe there's a one singular joke she likes. One thing she finds absolutely bone-tickling. Uh, and the rest of it she just absolutely hates. Or maybe it's like the whole thing is like you're completely depressed and enough. I see the face! Oh, I didn't notice that before. Do you want to read the Weeping Willow joke from the joke book? Uh, the cheese book. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. Ah, ah, ah. Maybe perhaps you're a fan of... <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Okay, goodbye. I need more jokes. <laughs> I am going to absolutely ruin this person's existence for no reason other than I find the fact that she cries to be funny. Uh, Aubrey, pull out your bat and bash this man's face in. <laughs> what we get? You got jam. It's, is it always jam packets? I, it could be. I don't remember what the first one was. It was probably jam packets, right? That seems to be... I mean, two out of three is a pretty solid theory. Uh, anyhow, uh, you actually missed a little bit. I did grab a present from up here next to the Rare Bear, because I was looking for that lady and I just couldn't find her. And I did notice another one of these areas that we can perhaps go to. Uh... Though, if I recall, the other area had like a giant hand grab me out the sky, like a terror god. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! It's a minecart. Oh, actually, wait, can I just run and do that? I mean, I probably could. It wasn't super fast. Also, I did notice we are getting faster cutting stuff. Oh, maybe it's because. Oh, wait. Is that doable? Is that a time challenge, or am I misunderstanding that? What is a- uh, can I just put a giant spike on my head? I feel like a giant spike on my head would solve a lot of problems. Cut. Run. Wait, why is this one gone? Yeah, oh, you got a wooden track. Oh. And the spider cut. Oh, okay, completely misinterpreted that. I thought that was like... You're not supposed to go to that area yet, but no. It's just a little track thing. Um, I guess I can try to repair it, right? Uh, is there any point to it? Is it just a, is it faster than walking, or is it just we need to do it for a quest or something? Okay, well, if we got one of them, there, is there another one in here? There's two of them. 
potentially. I don't remember what your quest was, but we'll get you to you in just a moment. It is okay. You got a one track. I completely, uh, I, I did not understand that. I'm a fool. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't think of running yesterday. <laughs> Maybe I was just tired and sleepy. That's probably a good explanation. That's always a great explanation for if you don't understand something. Just say you're tired. Most people understand. The railroad track is missing a segment. Yes, I do. Uh, okay. And I guess it's another one. Sure. What was the point of this? Railroad track is missing a segment. Do you want to put that on a rail? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, I guess there's another one that we're missing. Uh, sure. And it's the rare bear. Uh, before we fight that thing, I'm going to save. Be I see a very sad mushroom that's kind of dying. Oh no, that's not a face that's frowning. It's just a mushroom. Okay. Uh, I want to save because that thing... It looks quite intimidating. Would you like to save? Yes, I do. Anyhow, <laughs> time to die. Uh, hopefully, you a you have a minecart track for us. Is there any point? You kind of just seem to be chilling, minding your own business next to the water. <gasps> I didn't expect- I forgot you like sprinted at me. And I forgot to heal. Uh, whatever. Uh, hack away. It's hack a foe three times. You, I need you to get angry. How do I get you angry? Headbutt is good, but like, I need to get you angry. <laughs> um, uh, You have the most health, right? You have the second most health. I am tempted to counter. But you deal damage. Yeah, I, wa I want hero to survive. Hero's important. Um, Wow, I actually kind of wish I had the woo ears on you. Oh. Actually, I didn't know I still had that skill on you, and... Let's... Wait, what happens if I use all forwards target hero for one term, and... It could just be random between those two, then. Yes, reduce this man's attack. Ready, Sir Bat. Rare Bear's attack fell. She's still very dead. <laughs> um... Oh, I thought you immediately died. Amori feels angry, that's probably not good. I could just not fight you. Everything in this area seems to be scaled. You know, I'm just gonna run, goodbye. <laughs> Sometimes the best option is not doing anything. <laughs> I don't have to fight that thing. Oh, it's this thing. Hero's afraid of spiders. Yeah, everything is a spider here. Let me actually see, because I took one of these down previously. Is, is this like an actual... Like, enemy that I can deal with, or... Oh, pass to Mori, what does this one do? I know it affects emotions somehow, right? Mori feels happy. Okay, Ball makes them happy, I think. I can't tell. Call heals. Oh! Wait, was that all Call? I wonder if it's Call because... Heroes away from... Town in the real world, so therefore the only way they have communicating is calling. Or am I overthinking things once again? <laughs> yeah, look. Hmm. Okay, yeah, just don't fight the murder bear. I don't understand why- How did I beat that celery? That celery Hmm. Can I pit the celery against the bear? Wait a second. I thought I saw shimmering behind the bear. I thought there was a reason to actually fight that thing. But no, it, it's just a big aggressive bear that is somewhat minding its own business. Would you like to eat some? Uh, seems to be more of an ambush predator. Thank you. Have I had a picnic here? I think I have, but... I do want to try to recall this because I don't recall it. Uh, yes, we have, and unfortunately because of that, it's not gonna tell us. Would you like to save? Eh, not really. <laughs> I have a feeling it's been like five seconds since we saved, and I don't really care about the progress we made. Um, we can go somewhat in here. In fact, ooh, somewhat of a hidden sly path? Yes, and a singular cobweb. This web is too strong to be cut. Why is it once... Is this like... Oh, that's guarding something, isn't it? There's gonna be a secret path in those tree bushes. Oh, it's my cat! No, oh... 
What? Ah. Uh -huh. It's my cat that's been goobed out or something. Goodbye. See you, nerd. I'm too fast. Oh, no. Okay. Nope, you're scared of that fire, obviously. <laughs> Clearly, that's the solution. Please, I don't know what this means, but I'm just leaving. Okay, there's there's a lot of my cats. I should have lit that. Oh my god, okay. Fire makes them slow. If they don't have fire, they are fast. Got it. It's you. No, no, you can't. You fucker. Huh. <sighs> Still gotta figure out what the thing is. Um, this might just be an alternate path to this place, right? No, it houses something. You got a faux tail. I don't actually know how to pronounce that word. I've never heard it out loud. Is this also a cat thing? Why is there like a whole furry outfit in here? <laughs> no. Oh, are you just drawn to? <laughs> To the fire. Okay, I guess we have to go make our way back through. I got greedy. I got greedy. Okay, so it walks to the fire and then it sprints at you at Mach 10 if you don't light it. Got it. I think that makes sense. Uh, that's cute. I mean, terrifying, but cute. Why is it my cat? I don't understand. Why is it growing limbs? Did my cat grow limbs? I haven't seen my cat in the real world. I wonder if it passed away. Hmm. You know, I did see a couple of the disturbing drawings regarding the cat, right? Is this just a safe area? This is like a safe intermediary area, I think. Uh, in the book. I want to take a look at it again. Oh no, I think I messed up here. Ooh. Nope, it's Pathy messed up. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, in the real world... What? I haven't been here yet. Basil. Oh my god, it was like Basil in the real world where his eyes were. That thing is definitely Basil. Or is, it, is the eye Basil? You got a magical bean. This lamp was le recently lit. Why is Basil like a shadow demon in both the real world and this place? Or is it like how we see Basil? Did he kill Mari? Is that why we see him as such a, like, a negative figure in our life? What? I was... Fantastic. See, hidden area? Uh... Mari? Welcome to the Lost Forest, where you find things you never knew were lost in the first place. Or perhaps they're forgotten for a reason. Huh. Mari's picnic basket. Would you like to save? Okay. This is getting weird. Uh, it's like a little enclave. What? Oh no, not one of these. Oh no, I'm. G is it like a path thing? Oh god. Okay. Is there any indication of where to go? Okay. There's five possible paths, and. Nothing to indicate that we're making progress. No. Okay. <laughs> is this a brute force thing, or is there like an actual solution to this that we can find out? Because- Oh! No, there is. I suppose we all hold secrets. No matter how lost or how deep we- How deep down we bury them, they find our way back to the other side. I want to take a look at the other paths because I have a feeling Oh no, it's different now. Oh no, this is so confusing. Where? What? Trying to lose yourself or have you accomplished that already? Either way, this is the right place for you. Perhaps that's why you come here to finish the job. This is like my own psyche talking to me, right? What do you mean I'm trying to lose myself? Hmm. Like, uh, am I trying to forget? Usually we tend to do things we want as opposed to things we say, wait, we say we do. 
I've never been one for wants. I'm more of a neat kind of person. Okay, are you... Is this just random philosophy? Okay, we tend to do the things we want as opposed to the things we say we do. What? <laughs> I mean, I just do the things I want and then I say I do them. I don't understand. I suggest you look for the exit before your needs become more apparent. Oh, wait. This journey is too arduous for those things faint of heart. Do you wish to leave children? I will not blame you. No. What's happening? I don't understand. Uh... I can't tell from you're still here. You must have either given up or you have fully embraced your fate. A confession, perhaps, but I'm not one the one to tell. What do you mean? This journey is far too arduous. Do you want to leave children? No. Okay. Uh, do I want to fight the rabbit? I have a feeling the things in here are going to be incredibly tough. Yeah, you look scary. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Wait. You just... You're floating? Did you just attack our soul or something? Ghost bunny. Okay, well, let's hack away. I want to see if we can beat these things. Uh, let's kill the angry one first. And, um... Because if you only attack our souls, we should be fine. That's such a good move. I love that. It uses so much juice, though. Uh, huh. Look at Kill. What does that do? You can do better than that. I'll show you. Is this the one that makes them both angry? No. Okay. Yes! Oh, that's the one. That's perfect. I needed to remember that. Got it. Yeah, okay, we can do this. Fantastic. Hack away. Uh, you headbutt this one. Uh, Kel, rebound. And Hero, you're kind of weak, so just attack. Yeah, okay. How much, how much XP do you give? Because if you give plenty of XP, I'm gonna farm you too. Well, I don't know where ghosts go after they die, but you're gonna reach their lot. Come on. Please. <laughs> That's so goofy. Uh, wow. I'm so sorry, ghost bunnies. Wait, do you count as bunnies for the bunny quest? I mean, you're technically bunnies, right? Hey. There was a boy wandering around here before you. A very similar to you, Basil, right? He went into the darkness and never came out. Hmm. How regretful it must have been to never find what he was looking for. Be it regret, defeat, or confusion, no one will know. What's Basil looking for? Why is he inside? Like, why is his, like, shadow self? Why did he become, like, shadowy in the real world? Is that how we see him, or is that, like... Oh, God, I can't tell. Because he saw, he said he saw that thing too, right? This journey is too... No, no, I don't want to leave. I want to... Is it bad to be in here, though? Because he said he said he didn't find it. Uh, I'm gonna beat up this bunny. <laughs> oh. It's not real. Oh, I guess it is. Die. <laughs> okay. Now, here's the thing, like... So this is... Basil is looking for something inside of my mind? Or is it, like, my version of Basil that's inside of my mind, or my perceived version of Basil inside of my mind that's looking for something? I'm confused. And I have a feeling you are, too. It's hard to express myself sometimes. I'm already grew to level 14, because, like, with psychological concepts like this... Oh, it's a big pearl. Uh... Okay, is this what I was looking for? I'll take a giant pearl. You picked up a pearl. Cool. Uh... I've seen and law I've seen lost, I've seen blind, but the combination is unsettling. Perhaps you're hiding away from the right thing. Hmm. Are you saying I'm lost and blind? I, I don't <laughs> Sometimes it had one piece of multiple dialogue. Okay, you don't give that much exp okay, I, I don't wanna farm. I'm lazy. I don't like farming in games. Morals are lost on the wicked. How does one define malice without intent? Why do you continue down this path when it's most certainly not the right way? I don't understand what you mean by that, like, am I... So I've lost something, right? There's an old saying about wasting time when living a life that is not your own. Dreams can feel like that, like this is... This force lost. I can't tell if this is like... 
actual important information or if this guy is just <laughs> a philosophy major and is spieling like Wittgenstein or something. Uh, you. Come on. Sometimes when we hide things from ourselves, we... Okay. We create different truths and eventually forget our way. Have you found yours yet or are you still lost? I'm hiding something for myself? What do you mean by that? Okay, am I, like, purposely forgetting something? What was that sound? Did I hear an oof? Or is that just my brain? You? Forget all you will or try to. The darkness manifests whether you are aware or not. No, this is definitely, like, connected strings of thought. Hide the inhabitable behind your ignorance and watch your life fall. Okay, I'm... Hmm. Okay. The darkness surrounds you and it is a terrible thing, but your truth has guided you. How much longer can you keep it? So I... I'm lying to myself in some form. The darkness surrounds you and is a terrible thing, but the truth has guided you. The truth being the lie I'm telling myself? So what, am I trying to forget something? I mean, it's probably related to, uh, Mari's death, right? Also, I, I perhaps I should explore that area with the, you know, what's it called? <laughs> the pier a bit more of the pearl. Can I actually take a look at this pearl? Maybe that was the thing I was looking for. Uh, it did, it, it was yellow. Is that a toy? <laughs> I can never, uh, can be sold for clams. Okay, it might just be like money. Uh, I don't want to fight at the moment. I guess we have no choice. Or, you know what? I'm just gonna run. <laughs> I'm more interested in what's going on with the plot <laughs> than the fights. Come on. Leave me be, Shadow Bunny. I'll come back and murder you a ton later. Ah, here we are. Wait. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I think I'm... Yeah, here we go. I think I'm gonna... Perhaps look at this recording and write down everything this man said, because it seems rather important. Also, it was a rather hidden area. Uh... No! Okay, how did I get there? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I should have remembered how I, like, passed my way there. Okay, was it up? No. I, I went to the right, right? What makes it... Wait, okay, so... I think go up first, and then go right? Is that what I'm... No? I can't tell. Okay, go left. Yes, here, and then go right. So it's like the sparse area, then the lake, and then... I think I went that way before, and I don't think it worked out. Was it this? No, okay. So... God, I can't believe I was I, I was so ignorant of what I was supposed to be doing. Okay, go left, go right. Uh, we went, I guess maybe we didn't go up and I'm just misremembering that. I can't even tell. I see like a little shadowy part, right? Is this an actual path? It is hidden away. Yes, okay, shadowy path. Now we're in like the land of bushes and stuff. It's a terrible thing, but the, your truth has guided you. Uh... Oh my god. Okay, this is a... Uh, there's like five? Four options. I can't count. What if one option's backwards? Oh god, wait. What? Is this... I can't tell if I... I think I took the right path by accident? Mm, I can't tell. Uh, okay, so... Left, right... Am I... am I just going in loops? I can't tell. I can't... You, huh? No, this is definitely new. Okay, I think we're on the right track. I'm not gonna remember how we got here. Hey. You have reached the end of the Lost Forest, but the beginning of the truth. I will tell you a story that has been lost through time. A story about the creation of this reality. Like, my mental space? I would love that, or like my dream world. In the beginning, there only existed two. The dreamer and his room. 
so like the white area, right? The dreamer grew wary of his room and created a door that led to many different worlds. Walking the path as a visitor to those worlds, the dreamer would come and go as he pleased. Slips and falls, tumbles and drops. The dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. The dreamer slowly became filled with dread. Quietly, quiet as they may have been, words of malice quietly crept into his mind, whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the dreamer manifested benevolent entities in his different worlds. In his different worlds. Then he compounded his worlds above the dark realm. On the map, there's like the Undercity, right? By benevolent entities, are you one of them? Or are, are my friends the benev benevolent entities? Or like just the people in the world? Sealing it with their combined might. Yet despite his valiant efforts, the darkness presence never abated. Even with new allies, the darkness continued to scrape and scratch at the back of the dreamer's mind. The noise might have subsided, but it never went away. The dreamer could run and bury away his fears, but one still has to face his own reflection. When the dreamer had created something he could not be a part of, something outside himself. What the dreamer created, something he could not... So like, he sealed off a part of his own mind in the literal sense, right? So like, the area under my mind, in like, the map, like, the rest of the combined worlds, I think, is what it's saying, is, like, a section of my mind that I'm trying to forget? The dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary, and that somehow harming me. Knowledge, or the absence of it, would become the dreamer's greatest gift. So, like, knowledge of Mari's death? So, like, I, I'm, am I suppressing trauma, is what I'm saying. To truly escape perils of his own faculty and ascend to a blissful state of ignorance. Only then would the noise caused cease to agitate the dreamer's sanity. So, the dreamer took on another name, Amori, and chose to forget himself. From that time on, the dreamer has lived amongst us, simply as an inhabitant of this world, traveling among blissful traveling along blissfully, ignorant of his own fabrication. Children, I must warn you, as with all things that are born in and out of this world, an end will threaten this one too. Though the dreamer may have subdued the inexorable, the darkness grows still. No bandage will can stifle an, ex an eternal wound. And there will be time when its influence will bleed through. Forgetful, the dreamer may be of this peril, a peril never forgets to be. So forgetful, the dreamer may be of this peril, it never forgets to be. So like, I'm, I think I'm psychologically suppressing my trauma. I've suppressed the memory or something. And because of that, in this world, there's like no sign... Of Mari de Mari's death, right? Because Mari's alive in this world. And then... But it's still like, she's not the same. Like, she's like, kind of different than the others. Like, she doesn't express as much. And then... What, like, I'm like the trauma is still causing grief, fundamentally? And like, I've kind of sectioned myself off into two people. So it's coinciding with everything I understand so far. Yet the end of this world may be inevitability. The dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. Oh my god, that's cool. Hey, don't burn yourself a lot. Hey, wait, you're not gonna be the flaming man, are you? Oh. H. <laughs> okay. H. I like H. <laughs> uh... 
Man, I should take a look at that thing more. Where is it? Because this is quite useful. Oh, I guess, yeah, H. And a lost pyre's flame beneath a trap door. There's so... Wow, I... I okay, there's quite a lot of hidden things in this. I might not find at all. Because that was like... I think this entire... Is, is there anything else in here? I had the... I was like spamming A in order to reach like this place. Because... I think I actually couldn't just walk towards that. Like... I, I walked next to the thing and then I think I hit the button which triggered it. So I have no idea how deep they're going to hide stuff. And I'm just, I, I might just have to be incredibly thorough. Because, like, what if there's, like, a secret area inside the secret area? <laughs> I, I, I know games like this like to do this type of stuff, but, like, I am somewhat of a completionist by nature. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to drive me insane, but I also don't like getting advice. Okay, I think we're good. Probably. <laughs> uh, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe. Anyhow. Yeah. Wait, so did I just have to... I can't even go back. Yeah, okay, wow. That was cool. Uh, I don't think it really provided anything new except for confirmation. I guess it did feel like... I'm suppressing, like, I guess the trauma of death. Uh, can you actually catch me? I'm not super miffed if you do. It would be convenient for me. Uh, so, there's two. The dreamer in his room. Why was Basil in here? Right? So Basil was looking through the forest. And then... He was trying to find something in my mind? I can't tell if that's like the literal Basil. Or if that's literally... Hey, your leaf goes beyond, behind that tree. That's kind of jank. Uh, Dero's afraid of spiders. You just went through that entire forest of creepiness. And you're afraid of spiders? Okay, whatever. Yeah, so... Basil... Oh god, like, he's invading my mind, or like, he's just on my mind, right? Because we see him as like a weird demon thing in reality, and then like... Because when we turned to look in the mirror in the bathroom, we didn't see Basil, we saw the eye, right? Oh god. I, I want to know, and actually, don't tell me, because I'm just speculating, don't tell me anything. Uh, like... I wonder, I wonder if that eye was intentional and it didn't include Basil's reflection. I guess it didn't include my reflection. No. It included me in the rear, and then the demon was behind me, the eye. Right? I should probably run. Uh, you didn't take damage from that? But like... So I am wondering... Uh, we can't release energy because Kel is dead, unfortunately. Look at Amori. Uh, do you ignore, ignore Amori or Aubrey again? Yeah. So, I'm fairly certain that Basil is the eye, but like, they showed up at like two different points. Right? They have to be the eye. I'm certain. Okay, Basil's the eye. I'm gonna operate off that because I can't like progress in terms of theory without. I have a feeling I need to beat the rare bear in order to get this last track. Uh. Oh, I get it. I'm supposed to my ram the minecart into here. That makes sense. Also, I see perhaps another little sneaky hidden path. Wow, this game is absolutely full of them. That rather leads up instead of... No. God. You're driving me nuts with these just slight breaks in the trees. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm going to operate off like the theory of Basil is the eye because otherwise I'm not going to make any progress. Uh... Don't tell me the bear has the minecart track, right? Because the bear is, like, whooping my ass. <laughs> uh, as much as I hate to say it. Let me save. Mars Picnic Basket, would you like to save? Yes, I do. Okay. Hmm. Are you all still the same? A floating mirror. Your friend smiled warmly behind you. Okay, so that didn't, like... Because the end of this world means, like, me becoming aware... Oh, wait, is it just this? That's a lot of spiders. I don't like that. That is disturbing. Oh, no, it was just this... Wait! I see a watermelon! I must collect it. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, the end of this world, I suppose it just means, like, maybe... Just... Sunny? Stop being, like... So daydreamy, or, like, so... It's just a tomato? <laughs> Or, like, Sonny stopped separating his mind into two, right? 
Oh, God. Okay, so the separate... Ah! Psychological concepts are so hard to wrap my head around. Anyhow, that was cool. Let me ba break this track. Wasn't there supposed to be a concert? I think this isn't the place for the concert, right? Uh, the railroad track is missing the segment. Yes. <laughs> This does not feel like a good concert venue, but you know what? I, who am I to judge an artist's choice of, you know, performance? Sometimes you just need the royalties. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, please tell me nothing can like interrupt my path while I'm on this minecart. I should have eaten the tofu. I think we're all low on health, right? Yeah, this is fundamentally slower. This has to only be to break through that. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh. <laughs> Hey guys, how's your day going? I'm talking to the plants, obviously. Well, we're speeding up? Uh, somehow? <laughs> oh, wait, no, I want to get off the track. I want to walk. There's, there's cool, like, glowing lotus mushrooms? Those are sick. I like those. Oh! Oh, it is actually. Oh, okay, this has to be. Uh, I see it. I saw her, I think. So this is the concert venue. It's just in a. Wait, what? This is inside a castle? Did we just go through like a Looney Tunes facade? Did I see that right? No, it's deeper in the force. I think I understand. Can I cut this? What's up with like the weird Tesla coils? <laughs> I like those mushrooms. I want to know if I can jump in them. I feel like they're magical. There has to be something here, right? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Well, next area. Let's see. Yeah, everything's starting to turn pink here, and I guess... Huh. What was the concert? It was for, uh... Oh! Wow! It's Pluto Space... Oh, I didn't even do that. Hey, Kel. Basil, are you here? Oh yeah, we're still looking for Basil. Basil, where are you? Hmm, it doesn't look like Basil is here either. Hey, it's Mari. Ah, in a sense. Oh. Mari, Mari. <laughs> oh, you moved? Wow! Oh, hello everyone. You all made it through the forest. I'm so proud of you. Mari, I... I, I was so scared. Good job, Hero. Aw. Hero, this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> he, just, he just... Come on, man. Like, what is he, why you gotta do him like that? Uh, it's times like these. I really wish Basil was here. He could tell Hero about how spiders are harm harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe then he wouldn't find them so creepy. I'm not sure if that would help him right now. Yeah, they kill mosquitoes. Mosquitoes suck. Oh, Hero. You're going to have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Like trauma? Maybe. Or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. I wonder, if I'm, am I going to be less afraid of spiders in the real world because of my experience in here that's kind of weird huh you never know what the future what the future brings haha <laughs> i guess when you face a giant dream spider the size of like your entire body a real spider would be less terrifying i'm still scared of spiders <laughs> uh I, I feel like i've realized that like i i don't i don't kill spiders personally because they kill flies and stuff but Boy, do I not like them moving fast towards me. Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Yeah, sure. One last picnic in this creepy ass area. This forest is a lot scarier than the one near the playground. And a lot older, too. This is like a... It does have a mysterious air about it, doesn't it? I heard there used to be a huge library filled with books here. But since no one took care of it, over time the library slowly sank into the ground. Book for the book person? Who told you that, Mari? Oh, just some shadows here and there. If you focused, you can see them too. That's creepy. Whatever. Reading is boring. You're not going to address the shadow common, Kel? Who wants to read anyway? Where is this library now, Mari? Well, if I were to guess... It would be right beneath us. Oh, maybe like the section of the city might not be like underground? Yeah, somewhere around here, probably. Hmm. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, maybe like it wasn't in the literal section that the underground... 
Yeah. Oh, it does look different, though. Hmm. Yeah, it does look very different. Oh, wait, that's because we just haven't unlocked it? Why is it, like, turning black? Or, like, has the map changed? Is everything getting slowly infected? Or does that mean we just haven't been in this area? This map is not very helpful, if I'm being completely honest. Um, hmm. There is something under the water, though. I think that's might be... I think we saw a lot ladder around there, and there's like a well in the ocean. I don't recall seeing the orange oasis there originally. I don't recall seeing any of this originally, if I'm to be honest. Uh... Huh. Okay, I, I gotta figure out what's up with that. I think I just saved, right? I don't remember. <laughs> Let's see what's up ahead. Uh, come on. Oh, hey! Zombie Sprout? Sprout Mole. You're looking very gray in color and not Alfie. Oh, you're... Oh, you guys are just dead, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, did you have, like, your life force sucked out of you? Okay. That's, that's a lot of dead creatures. I suppose I've been killing them left, right, and center, so... I don't think I can judge others for the morality of Sprout Murder. Though, to be fair, that is a very alarming amount of dead sprouts. Oh! Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, that's a big centipede made out of sprout. God damn it. That's, that's so cool. Oh my god, that is so cool. That's terrifying, though. Anyhow, uh... What was I gonna say? I was gonna say Sweetheart might be a vampire, but no, it's just this thing. What is this? King Crawler. Uh... Okay, let's see, Mock. Deals damage, greatly reduces its attack, always deals a critical hit. Let me think, do I want to stab it? Let's do the- uh, okay, stab might be better in terms of... Wait, didn't I change that to something else? I can't remember. I'm gonna make myself sad, because I have a feeling sad's better for a sustained fight. I need to get Kel. No, it was- Aubrey calls Kel, and they both become angry. So I'm gonna just attack normally. Kel... I'm going to... I should have changed out your moves, because your moves kind of suck. Especially for this situation. Let's just use some items. I have plenty of items, right? What's a present? Oh. It's not what you wanted. Inflicts anger on a floor. Oh, that's actually quite useful. A dandelion air horn. Poetry book. I can't wait for, like, this thing just to one-shot me. Uh... Reduces their defense. Perfect. And this dealt a ton of damage last time I used it. You! Reduce their attack. You're just gonna keep reducing your attack the entire fight. Come on. Uh, okay. Amori feels sad. It takes 50. Why did it take 50? Oh, the rubber band. I think we can win this. Look at Kel. Okay. I think this is doable. Okay, so the bear was an anomaly. <laughs> I'm gonna return to that later. I guess that's because of next to water. And maybe you have to be... A sprout mole appears. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. A long, very lost sprout mole. Uh, let's save up our things now for the big attack. You. Just keep headbutting. That's your best move. You can rebound, actually, now. And, yeah, just go ahead. Beat them up. Oh, fantastic. Ooh, wow. Oh, it's not dead. I guess the sprout mole is buffed, huh? Uh, maybe I should have Hero Heal. So good. Uh, call up. Oh, wait, I need to save that. S Is this a snake or a centipede? Yeah, I used three. I should have saved that. Wow. Oh. You came at a bad time, buddy. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. Happy, I think, is just generally bad, right? 
I'll make you sad, right? If you deal less damage, it's fine. Can you run out of juice as an enemy? I don't think you can. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway, but... Whatever. Uh... Yeah, just run and gun. Just, just keep going for it. We have plenty of food, why am I worried? <laughs> it was a dull attack. What does a dull attack mean? <laughs> I don't remember all the combat. Oh, it's 45. Do enemies have juice? Because if they can run out of special attacks, that would be fantastic. Lost eight juice, what will Mori and friends do? Uh, just keep stabbing it? I don't want to hack it. You headbutt. Hero, you need to heal Aubrey so she doesn't knock herself out. There you go. Also, I need to, like, actually look through the, like, miss skills after this because I have a feeling I can equip much better skills. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, Aubrey's dead. That was my fault. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that works out, I guess. You... Sta oh, I think... Let's just all attack, actually. And... Yeah, just go for it. Wait, no, I should've... Oh, I should've resurrected Aubrey because she would level up. Oh, no, I've made a mistake. Uh, well, whatever. That is such a cool... That I like the design of this thing. That That's like a parasitic entity that grow... It, I guess it's like a gamma snake. <laughs> Yeah, I gained 2,600 XP. You found Sprout Mole Masks. What? Level 15, learn trick. Level 13, level 13, learn, learn fast food. Uh, sorry about that, Aubrey. I guess you're gonna be kind of remain the runt of this party. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Was that everything? Oh. The library is right here. Are you all still dead? Uh, unfortunate. Where did that thing come from? Wait. Oh, we're just going full 2D now. Huh. What, wait, Sprout Mole Village. Wait, didn't we have this on, wasn't this on the moon? No, this is where they moved. I understand. Tickets. Ah, uh, hello, strange looking Sprout Moles. Are you here to see Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts? If so, you come to the right place. This sold out extravaganza spectacular. We'll be starting very shortly. Wait a second, I know the show. We have front row show tickets for it. Ah, I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. Is it gonna be about how she broke <laughs> heartbreak? Betrayal, desperation, loneliness. Oh, the drama, how she broke up with Space Boy. This is gonna be so fun. I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know. I guess it looks interesting. But now, it doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could earlier. Please, hero. We should at least check it out. Please, 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 please. Well, alright. Hopefully this won't take too long. Uh hum. If I may have your show tickets, please. Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Sprout Mole, sir. We have our tickets right here. Aubrey reached into your pocket and took out the show tickets. Here you go, Mr. Sprout Mole. I wanted to save. Oh. Oh my, I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You, you all must have made great sacrifices to be here today. I applaud you. Rest in peace, Four Sprout Moles. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At second glance, you are four of the most normal looking Sprout Moles I've ever seen. Please enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking Sprout Moles. Ah, okay. A table full of merchandise of an obnoxious looking person, and it's her. Uh, you have a hole in you, right? These sprout moles are such funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it, don't do that. Did you know sprout moles really love tofu? Ah, the tofu connoisseur. I bought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier, feel free to try some. You got tofu. Where's that tofu stand? That... He's gonna mug us, aren't, isn't he? Ah, yes, yeah, some juicy tomatoes. Would you like to eat some? Um, I don't like tomatoes. <laughs> you and your friends feel like new. Anyhow, uh, I think I'm gonna save here. <laughs> I can't tell- I was gonna say it's a rather short episode, probably. But I think my just scale of time is just completely off in terms of the rest of YouTube. Anyhow, uh, have a fantastic night, everyone. 
Goodbye.